up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're going to be doing a max speed test for the Amada Fiorenza. I didn't really get to do a max test for this car because you just immediately have to race the uh, ch world champion right after you do that race. So last week's video was me running the w race for the world championship. So yeah, this is going to be my max speed test for this car. I haven't done it yet. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Y'all are great. So just a little bit of an update now since we beat the game last week. What I'm going to do is max speed test with this car this week. I'm going to do the Zender next week. And then the police cars. Because I unlocked those. I hadn't done the max speed test with those yet. And then after that, I'm going to do all the cool secret bonus races in this game. And we're going to unlock all those cars as well. And I'll compare those two. I also have a plan to do the head-to-head -head series for the London cars. Kind of give a little bit of information if you're ever replaying this game. Which cars are the best, in my opinion. Um, you know, of the first, the second, and the third. Of the, you know, the PT Standard. Or the PT Phoenix, the Ascent, and the Modicum. I want to kind of do a comparison of those three. Now that I've driven all three of the types of cars. And all three of their, like, level ups. Now that I've done all that, I can actually kind of, I feel like I have enough information now that's recent in my mind to be able to be like, okay, yeah, this car is the best here, this car is the best here, and this one's the best here, and take your pick. Um, well, this car bounces all over the place. We have already damaged it, totaled it, so that was really quick. The thing that's funny about this game is the fastest cars are always uh, very weak, so that was what that was. Um, and this bridge is super glitchy, so if you bump off of any walls in this little tunnel, you go flying back and forth really violently like that. So that's part of the funny thing. So, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. This game is super fun, and we have officially beat the main story. So it didn't take too long. This game is a great kind of arcade racer, super fun, very enjoyable car to deal with. And uh, the races are challenging, but not impossible. Um, and this car is good. It's very fast, very, very fast. You, and it doesn't mean you don't really realize how fast you're going in it until you try to make a turn. It, it seems like it's very, uh, like, it's, the car is built in such a way that it's super, you just can't tell that you're flying super fast until you try to do anything. But, um, looks good. Kind of has a Ferrari vibe going on. Maybe we can mix with a little bit of some other car that I can't think of right now. Maybe like a a little bit like a Bugatti, but this game was out, came out before the Bugatti, so it's not bad. But like, it kind of has a, an interesting look to it. Very quick, sounds really good. Uh, no NOS, but that's okay. Didn't really need it. It's really fast. Obviously, it can really fly. I mean, I've been able to go pretty quick without even really trying in this car so far. So, and then eventually I'll uh, talk about, I don't really know if I'll need to seem to drive over this little curb in the middle. There we go. But um, I, kept, I kept hitting that curb even though it wasn't there. <laughs> it's weird. But um, yeah, this is one of those types of cars where it actually accelerates well all the way through. I've noticed with the London, oh, with the three main London cars, those three cars seemed to like, they really seemed to have a weird, or each one of them had a weakness in their gear shifting. And since you can't really tune the cars in this game, like the Monocom had a terrible first gear. And kind of Kareem's car did too. The PT was pretty terrible with that as well. They just were they were they were geared in a weird way, and then the uh, Ascent just didn't really the Ascent just didn't really have any handling, so that was its problem. But um, yeah, look, like this car can get up to about 175. I, I mean, it's hard to get close to it. I just could have seen it there, but I was trying to keep the car straight. Um, obviously the well, I broke the game. I, I broke it. Okay, well, I broke the game. That was great. It was a great way to end that. So, um, yeah, fast car, good handling. Um, very weak, though, and that's that's the way it's going to be with these cars. So, that was hilarious. Hope y'all enjoyed me falling through the floor. I don't even know how that happened. So, it was cool. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll uh, record the um, Zender next week. Peace.